Hello and welcome back to Mega React. So today we're going to be watching a Patreon request. It is a show called Hamish Macbeth. What is this show? I don't know. What is it about? I don't know. I do know. It was on the BBC in 1995 and apparently there's an old dude in a beret in the show per the picture I have on my screen right now. But other than that, no idea what I'm getting into here. But I do know this patron has not steered me wrong yet. So I'm just going to hop right into this episode to see exactly what the show is about. So please come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. All right. It's about a cop. Is that Hamish Macbeth or is it the guy in the beret? All right. This must take place in Scotland, right? Because I recognize that as a... Scottish cow and the kilts. The Great Lockbur Salt Robbery. Okay. Hey, Shorty. Shut that racket up. I'm not making a racket. The machine is. You're pressing the buttons. I said cut it out. Hey, we'll have no rowing in here. Look, you big idiot. The loudest things in here right now are a jumper and that stupid shirt you're wearing. So why don't you just piss off, find yourself a sympathetic tailor, and get yourself straightened out? <laughs> there it goes. Can you not see he's only a bairn? Another time, Makiba. Ah, piss off. And you just watch your mouth, boy. Just watch. How's the book? It's all right, actually. She's coming up. I have a Welsh Terrier and an Airedale, a Airedale Terrier. So, if you know about those dogs, they're great. Reminds me of that one, only mine are brown and black. We are entrepreneurs, Lucky Junior. What care we for the EEC? <laughs> <laughs> what is the EEC? A very nice salmon patty on the go. Oh, well, maybe just a wee nibble, Bonnie. I used to have salmon patties. My granny lock used to make them. Mm, What's so going good. On over there, I wonder. Isn't the EEC is some sort of regulation for the government, maybe for fishing, hunting, something? I don't know. Whiskey Bob's there if you want to. Whiskey Bob. Whiskey Bob will do fine. He's a drunk. We're dealing with a can-do company in McCree and Son, you know, Alice. Drive on, Lucky Junior. No big Geordie Rob. Better and better. Onwards and upwards, son. What you gonna do, Whiskey Bob? <laughs> You're gonna drink some whiskey, that's what. <laughs> Don't call me Whiskey Bob for nothing. Ooh. Ooh. Let me get young Dr. Brown in to see you. No! Who beat the and shit out of her? As soon as he sees, he'll know. No. Stockings, woman stockings, tights, for God's sake. I'm not going to touch up masking for women's tights. What would people think? What sick images would flash through their brains? <laughs> Give me them here. How are you going to wear those? Those are thick, son. You have to cut eye holes. Give me the gem. All right, they cut eye holes. That's terrible. <laughs> Dude. They're wearing their... They're wearing their jumpers with their name. <laughs> Jeez, not professionals. Rory, is everything all right in there? Everything's just fine, dear one. I'll be with you in a jiff. There you are now. I wasn't too long, was I? No. Some mood music. Play, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Just still in salt. The great salt caper. <laughs> I guess this makes sense. <laughs> so help me, Hamish, this'll have you baffled. I mean, a burglar is one thing, but this makes no sense at all. Touch anything? Nothing. And that's the funny thing. Neither did whoever robbed me, except for half a hundredweight of table salt. And that's it? Nothing else? Nothing. And as you can see for yourself, there's whiskey and all sorts back here. It's baffling. Baffling. Right? Baffling. I mean, what would anybody want with that amount of salt? 
Protection from demons oh. or ghosts. Well, I suppose I should check for Supernatural. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'll keep my ears open anyway. Crime's a crime and all that, Rory. Oh, well, you please yourself, Hamish. Now, I'll see you out, shall I? <laughs> the girl from the book. It's Alexandra McLean, Hamish. Right. I can see that. Guessing he's the only cop, small little town. Probably this is the most excitement he's had in a while. A little salt robbery and a girl in town that he may or may not know. Nice car. Isn't it though? Belongs to my publisher. He's come up with me. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced you to. This is Hamish Macbeth. <laughs> uh, Hamish. Oh, why Macbeth. do you laugh? That's right, sir. What a super name. Yeah, it belongs to Mr. Mr. Peterson. Holmes. Oh. That's our salt thieves, isn't it? If you two hear anything, you'll let me know, though. Yeah, no problem, Hamish. Straight away, Hamish. <laughs> He's already on it. <laughs> to make their own hatchery or fish thing? I don't know. How is it? Salty. Lobsters. Valid literary form. Are you hallucinating or having an idea? Post-structuralist debate about the value of literature per se. What is the function of the text? <laughs> All right, hallucinating. In fact, do they stand separately? He may show. What was that? God, John. Drinking that water like you had a hangover or some dry mouth. Thank you, Dad. Or we could be rivals. Constable <laughs> Macbeth, sir. Oh, thank you, Marky. He may show. Some hospitality, please. No, 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 I, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, I'm afraid there's been a, a burglary at the general store, Major. A half hundred weight of salt was taken. So, Constable, you're hot on the trail of a salt cellar. Peter. No, your friend is just favouring us with some metropolitan wit, Alex. Wasn't that witty, Hamish? <laughs> Effervescent, Major. Do you get my ticket, Mr Peterson? What you call witty, oh, I uh, call being yes. a dick. I've had the repair done. I told Peter the car was probably damaged by some envious adolescent. Well, envious and persistent, it would seem. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, he's went and smashed the other light. Happened to notice it in the way in. Even the major. <laughs> Take us over the Devil's Humph. We'll save half an hour then. The Devil's Humph? No one drives over the there. devil's hump. You can barely get three sheep walking abreast in that road. Look, I want time from a pint at the conclusion of business. You know me, boy. That's Big Jordy Rob's car. Aye, I know. Where's Big Jordy? An accident, a murder. I love his theme song. So cool. <laughs> And get to work. I don't know if I'm dealing with foul play or a missing person. Oh, I've arranged for you to meet a few of the locals in the Loch Do Hotel, sir. Some of the ones that last seen Mr. Rubb. That was very efficient of you, Constable. Oh, well, thank you. See, I also noticed that the car clock is stopped at 2.20. Now, assuming it was working prior to the crash. Very efficient. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. Gonna have me a date tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, whiskey. That's whiskey bald. I would have named it too, but that name is there. I saw Big Jordy doing something at his car. Doing what? Well, he seemed to be looking for something, and he was angry at not finding it. Then he drove off. Well, that was it. And you're sure about Rob's clothes? A blue woolen diamond jumper and a lemon shirt. Positive. I mean... Who else but a golfer would dress like that? <laughs> and have a look at the PS. Sorry for the salt. Here's your money. <laughs> Buckets of salt. 
It's no bad afternoon now, Hamish. No bad afternoon, my arse. You're nicked, the pair of you. What are you talking about, boy? Here is the cash for the salt we took. We're sorry we were inconvenient to you, but we had a wee cash flow problem. P.S. P.S.? If you need a new back door, see Dan McDonald over at Nothing. He'll do you a big, thick door for £52.50. I'm arresting you under Section 2. Hamish! Hamish, um, look, why do we talk about this, eh? Lobsters. See, we had to change their water, you see, so we had to have the salt. Take it, these are stolen as well? Yes. Yeah. No, well, no, no, not exactly, no. Found. Uh, we were asked to dump them by the Fish and Game Company. I mean, in six months' time, we could have women with whiskers. Men with breasts. Breasts? Breasts. <laughs> what? Girl breasts. I'm still a young man. I will, if it happens, you might not mind asking for tights. I'll be sending these to Inverness for analysis. <laughs> You're in the wrong town, bro. I was a boxing blue at university. A boxing blue? Well, my, my. Tremble, tremble. <laughs> you gonna kick your ass. He started it. Just a fight. Any idea what you sound like? You provoked him. You've been provoking him. I, I provoked him with the wish. Wait a minute. You, you provoked came him. came for me. What about him parading up and down the street as if he owned you? Don't talk about me as if I was some pride to me fall for. God, what did I ever see in you? Bloody Neanderthal. I think we should work together on this, Hamish. I think so. <laughs> now, why would a detective sergeant lie down with a police constable, I wonder? Eh? Charm. Hamish? <laughs> I thought I might need somewhere to dump the credit if my guess was proved right. I want you to find McDonald, John. Make sure she sees that, okay? He done solved the case. But wants none of the credit. So one of them killed him. Bet him to the fishes, maybe? A uh, joke. How can people know be like wee dogs, eh? Jock. Simple. That's the name from uh, Lady and the Tramp, right? Do the lobsters eat the person, maybe? I don't know. I killed my son. Not Bob. Alice. Damn, he's beating the shit out of her. But when he fell, he hit the forklift. I gave that boy life, and I took it away. He was such a big, lumpy man. <laughs> the lobsters ate him. They found bits of blue and lemon wool in the guts. People have been eating Big Jordy. Seems like it. <laughs> That's twisted. It's a wonder they didn't choke. He ate lobster. <laughs> 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 What do you think will happen to her? Oh, probation, most probably. It was up to me a little go right now. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Uh, these old people love each other. What's all this? Oh, they're buying laxatives. That Rory Campbell's making a fortune. Hamish. Aye. Do you remember that crab consomme I gave you? Aye. <laughs> yes sir let's get rid of it i'll be right back with you so that was hamish Macbeth season one episode one that was a pretty good show pretty fun pretty enjoyable took me a minute to get the premise and to kind of kind of uh tune in to the to the accent it took me a minute but i got in there pretty quick uh, honestly, 
the Scottish accent. I think that's what it is. If I'm wrong, let me know. But it's very similar to the deep Southern accent in a lot of ways. So it wasn't that hard to pick up. But I enjoyed the show. It's got Hamish Macbeth, who is this kind of cop who doesn't play by all the rules, but is actually a brilliant police officer, but doesn't want to leave his small, quaint little town that he likes. So he he doesn't want to draw too much attention to himself and the fact that he's such a damn good cop. So he found a way to, to get someone else to do the work for him. Fantastic, fantastic show. The actor, I don't know his name, but I recognize him. He was in 28 Days Later, maybe? Maybe that's where I know him from. I think so. But anyway, great show. Fun watch. I might watch more of this. I might not. It depends on my patron. But definitely a show I would not mind watching more episodes of and really get into this character, this town, the supporting characters, which all seem fantastic. And honestly, just seeing shows that take place in different countries, how the different culture is and how, you know, you have different... You have differences, yet things that are very similar. Like, I live in Florida, in a small town, and uh, we're, we were very much a fishing town for a long time. We still are in some ways, but to see this town in Scotland, that is a pretty small town that is part of the fishing industry and on the water and just some of the people that that live in those kind of places. It really does hit home, being someone who lives in a small town in Florida on the on the Gulf and a lot of fishing culture here, a lot of the same kind of people. It was fantastic to watch. So I enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it too, please continue to come on the journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.